Hello everyone and welcome back to the Season 17 TCEC Super Final Lila Chess Zero vs Stockfish. This is Game 44. In Game 43 we already checked out the game where uh, Stockfish had the white pieces and Lila had to go for the Queen to D6 Scandinavian. Uh, my, my favorite at the moment uh, weapon against uh, White's E4. So I was very happy that they were playing that game and I said that we were uh, gonna cover the one where Lila had the white pieces as well to see if the if the opening stands or uh, was it just a very impressive game by Stockfish. So Stockfish played really uh, a tactic brilliancy uh, in that game uh, and now let's see how deal uh, Dila, Lila deals with it uh, with the white pieces so e4 uh, as in the previous game d5 captures captures knight to c3 and now the retreat to d6 we have queen to d6 uh, d4 uh, we have knight to f6 knight to f3 and a6 so everything the same as in the previous game g3 it is uh, up until this moment that the uh, opening is predefined we have bishop to g4 uh, stockfish goes for the same defense as lila but uh, in the previous game uh, you know that stockfish went for h3 here but lila just continues with bishop to f4 and uh, this uh, this move has been seen before in human games and uh, mostly when the queen is under attack you're going to play queen to b4 queen to b6 maybe queen to d7 those are the known replies uh, but here we have queen to e6 by stockfish with check and uh, it is in fact a new move so as of move 7 we have a completely new game now it seems that both lila and stockfish are showing us that we've been playing the queen d6 scandinavian all wrong this whole time uh, but uh, it's not all that crazy to give this check. Yes, you block your pawn here, but how does white defend? For example, if you block with the bishop, just captures knight and you cannot capture uh, due to the pin. Uh, blocking with the queen is not better. If queen blocks, then again, you just capture it and the queen cannot recapture. So black just wins a piece. So what black needs to do, if you don't want to play something silly, like maybe block with this knight or king d2, is bring back the bishop, bishop to e3. So okay, black lost the tempo, but also white lost the tempo. Uh, so not, not at all weird. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes uh, the TV just uh, starts, starts by itself. Uh, but yeah, bishop back to e3. Both Lila and Stockfish lose a tempo. Uh, we have queen to f5 now. And this is how uh, Stockfish again uh, makes room for the e6 pawn to be pushed forward while attacking the knight on f3. So it's without wasting time. Bishop to e2 and now e6, uh, making room for the dark square bishop to enter the game. Uh, we have h3 and now bishop captures on f3. Uh, we have bishop captures and c6. Now as there is a threat of bishop captures on b7, so c6 and queen to e2, making room for a queenside castle. Uh, if you've uh, seen the previous game, both uh, Stockfish and uh, Lila decided it's better to castle queenside against the Scandinavian. So something uh, definitely to consider. We have knight b to d7 and a queenside castle now. Stockfish goes for bishop to b4, uh, of course wanting to capture on c3 to mess up uh, Lila's pawn structure on the queenside. And bishop back to d2. Uh, we have castles by, uh, by Stockfish and now king to b1. A nice prophylactic move uh, at some point queen a5 is coming so you might want to worry about this and queen captures on a2 so the king nicely defends it but still queen to a5 by stockfish and now a3 asking do you want to retreat with the bishop uh, or uh, maybe uh, do something else the problem is if you retreat with something like bishop to e7 then uh, even ideas like a knight to d5 become possible and the white will always be able to pick off this this bishop here since you opened up a discovery and once the queen moves you can pick off the bishop on e7 so here bishop captures on c3 right away lila recaptures and now queen back to c7 so this is what stockfish got out of the opening out of the queen to d6 scandinavian uh, uh intact pawn structure and nothing really going on here but uh, it's two knights against uh, lila's bishop pair so if, if you know how how uh, lila usually plays you know this could be an issue and here lila starts pushing on the king side which of course makes sense we have knight to d5 centralizing the knight also making room for the other knight to come to f6 while attacking the bishop on c3 so bishop back to d2 Lila not interested in parting with the bishop pair and now b5 Stockfish wants to start attacking on the queen side now with h5 and queen to b6 now uh, putting pressure on the d4 pawn and now h6 and now well you uh, you might consider grabbing here the pawn on d4 and allowing uh, h captures on g7 is just not possible uh, so here g6 uh, of course blocking this and now king to a1 
uh, again uh, just a, a nice uh, nice useful move at some point knight to c3 uh, might come with check so you want to avoid this as well uh, and here uh, again you're asking are you maybe interested in a pawn here but again capturing it now uh, put, puts the queen in front of the rook so uh, ideas like bishop to b4 come to mind the queen is under attack the rook is under attack so not uh, not really something you want to do so after king a1 we have rook f to b8 now getting the rook away from f8 but now c3 just defending that d4 pawn queen back to d8 uh, and now stockfish is definitely ready to start pushing uh, uh, pawns here and now bishop to c1 opening up uh, the rook and also the bishop will help, help out with the defense of the queen side pawns with a5 uh, and now comes c4 uh, Leela uh, decides that if the position is going to open up it's going to open up uh, under her terms so b captures we have queen captures on c4 and now queen to f6 putting pressure on the bishop here we have bishop to e4 uh, and now comes rook to c8 uh, you could also capture on f2 but um, stockfish doesn't want to give Leela the semi-open f file to use for the attack uh, it could be could be dangerous uh, another thing why this bishop here is very useful so for example queen captures does not come with the threat of checkmate as the rook is also attacking the pawn here stockfish decides against it we have rook to c8 uh, protects the c6 pawn instead and the queen back to e2 now now defending the f2 pawn we have knight 7 to b6 now uh, and g4 uh, we have rook a to b8 now aligning this rook with with the b pawn and now comes rook h to e1 uh just uh, getting the other rook into the game uh problem is if you play rook h to f1 uh preparing f4 which is definitely what you want to do then uh, black can block it with knight to f4 and then if you attack it again let's say queen d2 then the other knight comes to d5 so you've uh, you, you you weren't able in executing f4 so here Leela instead goes rook to e1 waits for stockfish to make a move which stockfish does and uh, stockfish goes for knight to d7 again repeats a move with the knight maybe with the idea of uh, of playing c5 at some point uh, but now uh, it is possible to go rook to f1 and now uh, probably if stockfish would repeat Leela would repeat and then look for something else but stockfish doesn't uh, and also uh, knight to f4 here isn't all that great now because after queen d2 there's a double attack on the knight and you don't have a knight on b6 to, to come to d5 uh, to help out with the defense here so once this knight moves now you will be able to execute f4 uh, so instead after rook f1 stockfish doesn't repeat instead uh, we have queen to e7 uh, and uh, uh, queen to e7 and now f4 just uh, uh, uh pushing the pawn we have rook to e8 and now queen to f3 now with ideas of uh, may maybe even busting open with f5 we have knight 7 to f6 putting pressure on the bishop sorry knight 7 to f6 putting pressure on the bishop and the bishop goes back to b1 so both bishops nicely tucked in for later uh, and a4 uh, we have bishop to a2 putting the bishop on the the king's diagonal so f5 will open up some uh, some threats definitely so king to h8 and now rook to f2 uh, Lila now prepares rook to c2 to, uh, to again go after the c6 pawn but also prevent c5 we have rook b to c8 preparing to push c5 and now rook to c2 uh, here we have queen to d7 uh, and now comes bishop to d2 just improving the position as much as possible keeping an eye on uh, all of the squares that this knight can go to king back to g8 and now even g5 and here uh, uh, you can see that Lila is not trying to open up uh, open up files on the king side but rather really just uh, uh, constricting the movement of all of the pieces that uh, stockfish has here stockfish goes knight to h5 as no other square is available uh, and now you will constantly have problems once this queen reaches let's say e5 uh, and threatens queen g7 checkmate this knight is stuck here for the rest of the game and it will not be easy uh, here Lila goes rook to c4 just improves the position keeps an eye on the pawn attacks the a4 pawn uh, so queen to a7 defending the a4 pawn and now rook d to c1 puts more pressure on c6 uh, we have rook to b8 uh, currently you cannot capture because you would also lose the d4 pawn so queen to f2 improving uh, again uh, the position the, everything is nicely defended the queen guards d4 queen and bishop guard the f4 pawn 
Uh, so black has to figure out what to do here. We have knight back to e7. Uh, and now comes bishop back to b1. Uh, if knight f5, you could you could even uh, capture it. We have queen to b7, threatening mate here. And now bishop back to b4, just uh, defending against mate. And now queen to c7. Knight d5 going after the bishop here, uh, runs into bishop d6. Just uh, kicks away the rook and there is no checkmate because the queen now again guards against mate once the bishop moved from, from d2. Uh, so after bishop b4, we have queen to c7, now puts again more pressure on f4, and bishop back to d2, just defending it. We have rook e back to c8, and now bishop to e4. Uh, now with a triple attack on the c6 pawn, we have queen to d7, uh, and now finally rook captures on a4. Now uh, it would be impossible to defend, uh, for example, uh, even if... Uh, uh, even if instead of this rook uh, here you went for queen to a7 again to defend the pawn you could always win it with bishop to c2 so stockfish doesn't even try uh, after bishop d2 like i said rook eight to, uh, rook e to c8 bishop to e4 now with a triple attack here not in a rush to win the pawn uh, as like we've shown you you cannot defend it queen to d7 and now rook captures on a4 uh, lila grabs a pawn uh, with stockfish not really having uh, any any moves to gain any activity so knight to d5 but bishop captures on d5 queen captures and now queen to e3 with ideas of queen to e5 uh, we have queen to d7 uh, and now rook uh, rook a back to c4 again putting pressure on the pawn here we have rook to b5 and now rook to c5 offering a trade here white would be very happy to do so uh, as uh, Lee lays up a pawn, uh, the king side completely locked off. This knight cannot enter the game, uh, so would be uh, every, every rook you trade, basically you will be left uh, up a piece as this knight cannot move. So rook b to b8, uh, sorry, not rook c to b8, rook b to b8, uh, getting the rook back, not allowing the trade, and now queen e5. And we reach this position where, like I said, this knight cannot move because of checkmate, but also there's the threat of just rook captures on c6. And once the rook captures, you will pick off the, the rook on b8. So rook to a8, stockfish doesn't allow this, and now rook 1 to c4. Just uh, increasing uh, the activity of the rooks, now controlling everything. But also, uh, Lila is now ready to push the past a pawn, which seems crazy since it's, uh, it's kind of black who's trying to attack on the queen side. But if it works, why not? So rook to a6 by stockfish, and now rook to b4, not allowing stockfish the use of the b file. Uh, we have rook a back to a8, and now king to b1. You want to get your king away from the a file if you are attending to push the a pawn. So rook to d8, putting some pressure here, but not really uh, relevant since uh, the, the position is completely guarded. Everything is beautifully guarded and stockfish can, cannot make a move here. Uh, we have a4 here and now rook back to f8. Here stockfish wants to play f6, uh, hope, hope for a capture and then the knight finally gets back into the game. And while that is happening, Lila continues pushing on the queen side. We have a5, and now finally f6. We have captures, knight captures, finally the knight uh, re-enters the game. Uh, and now rook b to c4. Again, puts pressure on the c6 pawn. We have knight to g4, attacking the queen, and now queen back to e4. Uh, we have knight captures on h6, uh, grabbing that pawn, which is a huge deal for black, but then again, now white is the one who starts grabbing pawns. Rook captures, we have knight to f5, and now queen captures on e6, with check. We have queen captures and rook captures, and here we have this position where Lila is up two pawns, and, uh, well, to make matters worse, uh, three, of, uh, three of those four pawns are passed pawns. So rook f to d8, attacking the pawn, and bishop to c3, nicely. Uh, solidifying king f7, attacking the rook, rook back to e1. Uh, we have rook to d7, and now b4. And now those two connected pass pawns are really uh, a force to be reckoned with. Uh, we have knight to e7, and now rook to h1 goes after the h pawn. We have h5 and king b2. Of course, you have to bring your king into the game as well. Knight to d5, attacking the bishop, bishop back to d2, keeping an eye on, on, on everything. Uh, rook to b7, now uh, with pressure on the b4 pawn, and king a3, getting the king away from the b file. We have knight back to e7, and now, if you had this position, or pretty much anyone, uh, you would probably look for ways to improve your position with something like king a4, maybe you'd play rook c5, maybe you'd try to get the other rook into the game, but not Lila. Lila decides to show off, and uh, Lila plays f5. 
Uh, and the, the point is, if you capture, of course, you lose the H pawn. But if the knight captures, what Leela uh, did here is that she opened up the F file for the rook. And yes, chess is that simple, obviously. You give up a pawn uh, in an endgame for an open file. Uh, so just king a4, continuing like nothing happened. And okay, knight to d6, attacks the rook, but now rook to c6, attacks the knight, knight to c8, uh, and now comes rook to f1 with check. The knight is uh, positioned on c8, so the knight wants to come to e7. At some point, you, you will have to uh, defend the g6 pawn. We have king g7 getting out of check and rook g1 now. Both of the rooks attack the, the g6 pawn, so knight to e7 with a double attack, defending and attacking. Rook back to c5 and now rook to d7, attacking the pawn here and now uh, rook captures on h5. Uh, uh, it's interesting that Stockfish didn't even try to defend against this with something like king to h7. Uh, but uh, obviously, uh, obviously Stockfish knows that if the king goes all the way back here, that these pass pawns are just uh, completely dominant. So try something else. Uh, rook to d7. We have rook captures on h5. Of course, uh, you, you, you cannot capture due to the pin. And now black cannot capture because of bishop to c3. So you're not even winning that pawn. So rook to b8. Uh, and now comes rook h to g5. Puts more pressure on the g6 pawn. King f7. And now rook to f1 with check. King g8. And rook to g4. Now defending the pawn here. Uh, we have rook to d5 and now bishop to c3, just defending both of the pawns. An ugly square for the bishop, yes, for, for the moment it does appear to be a pawn, but it's only for the moment. King g7 and now rook back to e4, going after the knight here. We have rook to b7 defending and now uh, rook to h4. Uh, we have knight to f5 with, uh, with an attack on the rook and the pawn and rook to h3. Point is, uh, the pawn can never be captured because you just uh, you just attack it. Rook f4, uh, the, uh, the pin is still existent, and after, let's say, defense, now you attack it once again, and again, uh, you, you win material in the game. So after rook h3, we have g5, Stockfish starts pushing the passed pawn, but rook to g1. Goes after the g5 pawn, we have king to g6, and now rook to h8. We have rook to c7 going after the bishop, and the bishop to b2 now. Uh, we have knight to e7 now. Uh, also, again, if you go for knight captures on d4, it's possible, uh, but uh, it, it only ends up in a loss. Rook g8 check, and after the king moves, now you play rook captures on g5. And once rook captures, you're going to play bishop captures on d4 with check. King somewhere, captures, captures. And yes, you won back the exchange, but the two pass pawns will, of course, uh, win against the rook even, probably even without the bishop. So after bishop b2, we have knight to e7, as Stockfish is out of options here, and now rook to c1, offering a trade. Rook d7, of course declining, and now rook to e1. Again, uh, not leaving Stockfish much, much options, king g7 goes after the rook, rook h2. Uh, we have king to g6 and rook to g2 now, and rook to a7. Uh, so bishop to c1, again puts pressure on the g5 pawn. Rook to f5, uh, and now just uh, a beautiful rook captures on g5. You could uh, just improve your position even further with rook e g1, but Leela uh, says it, 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 it's not important. Like in the previous uh, game that we've shown, Leela doesn't mind giving up a piece for no reason to make the position simpler, but also winning. Point is that after captures and captures, uh, Stockfish decided not to capture the bishop because capturing the bishop just runs into b5, and like I said, the two pawns are simply too strong. Whatever you play, you're getting a6, and now after king f5, you're gonna get rook e5, check, completely cut the king off from the game, king a5, and now you're just gonna bring the king in and win the game, king b6, uh, okay, knight, knight c8, check, you have to go back, uh, king to c6, knight e7, check, now you're gonna go king c5, and now there is no defense. Whatever you play, just uh, b6, and, and that's just it. If you play rook captures here, b7, there's no, there's no way to stop promotion. Uh, if you try rook to b6, uh, then of course just captures knight with check, and uh, otherwise just uh, captures or b b8 is uh, 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 promoting a queen into the game and winning. Uh, so uh, Stockfish doesn't even capture the bishop. Uh, Stockfish instead goes knight to d5, uh, and here we have rook to e5, uh, knight to c3 check, king to b3, and knight to d1. 
Uh, we have king to c2 attacking the knight further, knight to f2, and now bishop to h4. Again, harassing the knight, knight h3, and rook to e7 now, forcing the rook somewhere else, rook to a6, and now finally king b3. Now the king, uh, as the knight is now safely away, the king will make its uh, way into the game and, of course, uh, well, hopefully win. Knight f4, king c4, we have rook to a8, and now uh, bishop to g3. Again, harassing the knight, rook c8, check. Uh, we have king to b5 and now knight to d5. Uh, we have rook to d7, uh, pushes the knight back, knight c3, check, and king b6. Uh, we have rook to c4, goes after the pawn, uh, but uh, a nice bishop to e1, saying that if you capture the, uh, if you capture the pawn, then just uh, king here, and now both of your pieces are under attack, and you don't have, uh, you don't have many options here. If rook to b3, you're just gonna go king to c4, and once you move rook a3, just uh, capture that uh, that piece. So after bishop e1, we have knight back to b1, uh, and now comes rook to c7. A nice tricky move by Lila, uh, forcing uh, forcing uh, the rook to capture the pawn. But now comes, of course, uh, well any move wins here. But now Lila, instead of a6 to be consistent in in, in her philosophy, goes after the piece. Now comes rook to c1. And, uh, okay, now the knight is almost trapped. You could go to a3, but it wouldn't really make sense because after a6, knight c4 check, you just pick up the knight and you continue pushing just a7, and that's it. The b, b pawn is nicely protected. So after rook c1, Stockfish again doesn't even try to save the knight, rook d8, but now rook captures on b1. And here a few more moves were played. Rook d6 check, king c5, we have rook to e6, king d5, uh, sorry, king d5, uh, rook to a6, here b5 was played not even worrying about the a5 pawn oh, oh sorry i didn't see uh, from the microphone uh, i didn't see that the bishop was guarding it really really weird positioning <laughs> uh, uh rook to a8 and now b6 and uh, it was finally on this move move 113 that uh, stockfish resigned the game so as you can see both lila and uh stockfish won their respectable games in the queen to d6 scandinavian so uh, although this is a, it sounds like bad news for the queen d6 Scandinavian players, but it's not really. No one would ever play uh, the way uh, the the engines played, and uh, both Lila's move that pawn to e6 and the Stockfish queen to e6 check uh, have never been played in human chess. So either humans don't really know how to play the queen d6 Scandinavian, uh, or the engines just think that the way humans play it is is bad, and they don't even want to go into it. Uh, either way, w w I will still continue to play it, and most likely others will. So, uh, as it is a very enjoyable opening. But I'm very happy that uh, uh, it seems that it's bad both tactically and positionally. Stockfish destroyed Leela in, in a tactical frenzy, and uh, Leela created this beautiful positional masterpiece where Stockfish couldn't move a single pawn or piece for the entire game. So, uh, you know, uh, do play the Scandinavian. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know if you've seen on my community tab, uh, I will start uh, a tournament on leeches every Friday. Uh, I, I made a poll for you to vote. It, uh, I will make uh, put the poll in the description below. First thing you will see uh, if you want to vote on the time format. Uh, I, I've been deciding between bullet and blitz, uh, 1 plus 0 or 3 plus 0, but since all, so many of you already voted 3 plus 0, I think we're going to go with the 3 plus 0. And uh, more in, more information on that soon. So if you haven't seen it, do want to uh, drop your vote, uh, check it out in the description. Uh, so yeah, once again, I do hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, I would like to thank uh, uh, William Avery for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the Morphe Saga, coverage of the TCC Super Finals checking up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. And I have a very special game prepared for tomorrow. It goes into the sorcery series. Yes, you, you've heard that correctly. So thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.